Abraham decided to seek for the truth and to fight against the darkness. And then he found inside of his heart that there is a God, that there is a leader to this creation. And he cherished that wisdom and he took that lesson seriously and he dedicated his life to that truth and he changed his nature. He became good against the will of his father, against the will of his mother, against the will of his siblings, against the will of the kingship of Nimrod that was the vicious ruler of that generation, against the voices of everyone. This is why it's written on Avraham, Avraham HaIvri. When you say Ivri in Hebrew, that's the meaning of the word Ivriim, Hebrews, that Avraham was in one Ever, and all the rest of the world was on the Ever Hasheni, that he was in one side and the rest of the world were on the other side. His name Avraham HaIvri, Abraham the Hebrew, was because that he was on the other side and everyone else were in the same side against him. And he couldn't care less. He just did his own thing. He was serving Hashem alone. He found Hashem alone and he did everything alone on his own. And when he found his spouse, when he found his wife, he was happy and started sharing with her and telling her. And they lived their lives alone, together. Together, alone. And then they had students and they were honest and telling their life story to people. And those people joined them and became one with them, alone. On one side of the river and on the other side of the river, the rest of the world was there. And then they had a child and that child took that lesson wisely. His name was Yitzchak and he went and continued that path of being a master of prayer, dedicating his life to prayer, to honesty, to faith, to simplicity, to do tshuva, to come back closer and closer to the truth, to Hashem, to find God, to be in touch with God. And... After a while, he met his wife and they got married and they gave birth to another child. His name was Yaakov and Yaakov took that wisdom and passed it to the next generation. And that's how it goes. And when you are a truth seeker, you are always going to stand on the other side. Always all the world will stand on one side and will believe the false news, the fake news and will follow the fake leaders, and will follow the social media, and will be affected by the social pressure, and will get crazy because of the elections, and because of the plagues, and because of the financials, and economics, and politics, and opinions, and yes, and no, always. The world will always run after models, and after athletes, and after superstars, and after money, and flashy cars, and... and 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 sparkling earrings and 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 singers who are walking with tattoos and coloring their hairs and making like I don't like crazy people will always be crazy. And you should always pull yourself to the other side. To be safe and alone, to be connected to the truth. If like if you you smell a lie, stay away. You smell good, you smell, you smell faith, you smell hope, you, you smell something with hope, something with, with no tyranny, no evil, no, 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 no evil, no bad, no, no cruelty, no, like only goodness. Pull yourself to that side. And that's our mission. The world is not being divided to Jews and non-Jews, to 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 Ashkenazim and Sfaradim, to white and black and, and Democrats and Republicans. It's like that's all junk. That's all junk. It's all junk. It doesn't matter who you are. It matters if you're good or if you're bad.